Yo, what's up, Bob here. Welcome to Vinyl Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. This is number 66. That's right, folks. Number 66. Found some records this week, and we're going to get into them right now. <clears throat> Coming in hot. In too much, too soon. New York Dolls. Original pressing on that lipstick label, if you will. Very nice shape. I uh, found this one for really cheap. Uh, I think I paid $8 for this. And um, really, really nice. A garage, a glam rock, tinges of punk, tinges of the Rolling Stones. I don't know. Um, all I know is he's got this Les Paul special here in TV yellow on the front. And then another Les Paul Custom. And a classic black. Ooh -wee. I love that. Um, these guys, you know, they're pioneers of, uh, you know, what would be come um, kind of the style in the, in the late 80s with the, uh, you know, kind of Motley Crue looking character here. But, you know, uh, these are great records. The New York Dolls make... Fantastic stuff. I do still have, this is the second record, by the way. I still do have the very, the debut first record sealed. Haven't opened it yet. I have this music digitally, but, um, you know, I just haven't had the, um, I haven't had the balls to open it yet. But, <clears throat> beautiful sealed record. So now I have the first two Dolls records um, in fantastic condition, if I say so myself super excited about that now grail alert grail alert i've been looking for this sucker now it's not the ultimate grail of this version of the record but it'll do for me for now okay <clears throat> um dead kennedy's fresh fruit for rotting vegetables right on that dk custom label um, found this for virtually nothing, right? Now, what you're looking for on these, see the band here on the back? See how they have their heads? Well, this is just like a rando band, okay, that they um, put on the back and Photoshop. See the, the Dead Kennedys drum head there? Um, and then later the band got wind of it and said, hey, you can't put us on the back of your record. So they had to cut their heads off. And, um, you know, if you're going to find a uh, copy of Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables, you want the one with the heads. Now, there is an earlier one that is orange instead of just black and white. Uh, that one's even harder to get. But I was super stoked. Uh, there's nothing cooler than this Dead Kennedys. Uh, center label here now now okay um, me and the wife have parents that are Vietnam era and you know there <laughs> there are tunes on this that are political in nature and um, you know even my my wife's father um, what is a helicopter pilot and flew in the Vietnam um, War. And she even got in trouble one time for wearing a Holiday in Cambodia t-shirt, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, this is a serious record, folks, okay? Get burning, rioting people, burning cars on the front. Yeah. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables, the dead Kennedys. Some uh, real punk rock stuff there. For, for the kids that don't know. Um, speaking of real punk rock stuff and something I've been looking for for a while now. Um, bam. The Cramps A Date with Elvis. This is a tour copy with that golden lettering there. I, I just love the way this record looks, obviously. And it's you can't really tell, but it's on a... Well, let me pop it out. I hate when I have to get the record out. Uh, you're still not going to be able to tell, but it's on a blue 
translucent vinyl with that, um, I don't want to touch it too much, with that new rose center label there. Um, well, I do have it open. Here's the back. Get the cramps on it. It is a numbered copy. Mm. Yeah, it's numbered. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, European tour edition of the record. So I don't know if they sold these while they were uh, out touring or what the deal was. But I do know that they have a gold um, lettering on the front here. Yeah, really cool, really, really cool. I was super surprised when I found that. I was, uh, somebody told me actually that there were some uh, Bjork records, uh, Bjork records at a particular location. And I thought, well, I'll go over there and see if uh, Post is there. Because Post is my favorite Bjork record and I don't have it. And uh, when I got there, it wasn't there. And I was flipping through, and I found that um, Cramps record, and I was like, "What are we? What? What?" So I couldn't believe it. I was so happy to find it, and um, you know, because it's hard to get original Cramps pressings, and um, colored vinyl is even tougher. But you know, uh, you know, what can you say about the Cramps? It hasn't already been set on the VC. And what I've said millions of times, they're punk, they're rockabilly, they're, uh, they're country, they're, it's, it's outsider, avant-garde, it's everything, it's everything, it's everything. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, next. Back. Uh, this is a remix version of the Garrow record. And um, <clears throat> you might know the, because it has clap hands and some other really dope tunes on it. But this is even uh, different because this is, Remixes by several uh, Air 8-bit EL-P um, and more, according to this hype sticker. This is in the shrink. Uh, custom labels. I mean, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. You know, it's really not that far away from the original versions of the song. There's just like some additional like noises and scratching and stuff. Uh, it's pretty good though. Uh, definitely a pretty decent sounding record too, by the way. Uh, Beck Guerrero Lido. Really cool. Was happy to find that. Uh, I've been looking for this for a while. And, um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm sure you're, you all know this record. It is Bob Dylan's Oh Mercy. Now... The reason why I was looking for this is because it's um, produced by Daniel Lanois, and I'm a big Lanois fan. He, um, you know, if you don't know Daniel Lanois, he's really known for, um, you know, kind of a big ambient sound. He's worked with all kinds of people, uh, Neil Young, uh, Brian Eno, uh, Dylan, obviously, and many, many others. But I was really interested in checking this record out, and it's pretty good. Dylan's got that kind of aggressive delivery on a lot of the tunes, um, but it's pretty solid. Uh, if you see it, pick it up. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't like maybe go searching for it. I mean, you know, Dylan, an American treasure. A true genius and uh, another solid effort from him this one's in very clean shape on the 360 Columbia label really stoked on that <clears throat> can we get serious for a minute I mean like deadly serious uh, I pulled some records out of trade fodder to um to get this next one bit of a grail for me yeah um so far 2020 has just been filled with personal grail records for me i don't know what's going on but um here's one bam jimmy hendrix axis bold as love three color label on reprise yeah man 
this. I obviously have axes, bows, love, you know. Uh, I think I have a, let's see if I can pull it real fast. Ooh, ba, 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 ba. Boom, here's my other one. Second pressing, two color label. So now I have second, first and a second. Uh, both stereo, both very nice, you know. But, three color label. We all know this record. <clears throat> it has maybe the ultimate Hendrix guitar solo. Uh, the outro solo to Axis Bold as Love is insane. It is fantastic, okay? Um, Castles Made of Sand. Uh, it's This is a dope record. A few months, several months back, me and Jeffrey Lee Puckett and Sean Cannon did a review for Discogs of the UHQR version of this record. Um, Little Wang is on here. If Six Was Nine, Spanish Castle. Spanish Castle Magic. Yeah, so this record is a super heater. This thing is in great shape, okay? When I saw it, I thought, mm, yeah, that's a bit expensive. I'm going to have to go get some trade material. I didn't want to come out of pocket on it, but um, I did get it. Traded a few records for it, not a whole lot, like three, and uh, I got it. Now, <clears throat> it's cool because, of course, I have Are You Experienced Three Color Label. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm working it, I'm working it out. I am working it out. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Um, really stoked on that. Super stoked. Um, one of my favorite Hendrix records. <clears throat> what am I saying? They're all my favorite. You know, all the Hendrix records. Now, <clears throat> let's settle in for a second. When I first started buying records, right? which has been a very, very long time ago. Um, I think a lot of us kind of start in the same place. And uh, the very first, I'm, I'm about to show the very first record that I ever bought with my own money, okay? It's this, boom, the Beatles, Magical Mystery Tour, right? Now, here's the deal. This is on the Capitol label, you know? It's not, a first or anything like that. I didn't know anything about record collecting at the time. I was just buying Beatles records because, you know, um, that's what I wanted. And so I bought this and not long after that, I bought this, a Sgt. Pepper's stereo uh, on the green capital label. And you know, these records, it's pretty clean though, you know, and, and it's got all the inserts and all that stuff. And I was going through my records, looking at what I had, right? And because these Beatle records were some of the first things that I bought, um, a lot of them are just the first ones I can, that I found, you know? And, and I thought, well, I could probably get better pressings of the Beatles records because I just bought whichever ones I found first. So, and that were clean or whatever, you know? So when I saw this next record in the store, I thought, yeah, I better get it. Bam, the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, mono, first pressing on Parlophone. That's right, folks. You know, sometimes I forget how good Sgt. Pepper's is. And then I put it on and I'm like, holy smokes, that's a good record. Okay? Just on a day in the life alone, this thing is just spectacular. Uh, yeah, you know, mono. Uh, 
super stoked on that. Sounds incredible. Kind of blowing it on, um, this is probably definitely going to get shown on my audio file record series. If uh, I, I'm about to put out the first video on that, and this is probably going to be in the mix at some point. This thing sounds great. Um, but I want to compare it to uh, the U.S. pressing and all that. So, But it's in deadly, deadly near mint state. I mean, it's very nice. Um, a true grail for any Beatles fan. Now, Abbey Road is probably my favorite Beatles record. Uh, I really love Magical Mystery Tour, Let It Be. The White Album, <laughs> Revolver, yeah, uh, all of. I mean, it, you know, the Beatles, man, they were on fire. They just, they really could do no wrong for a long time. So, uh, really stoked to have that. Uh, insane group of records. Um, the Hendrix and the Beatles, big time grails. Uh, that said. I am um, really still super stoked on this Cramps record and the Dead Kennedys. You know, a uh, lot of great records this week. And I've been really fortunate lately. So uh, I think I'm probably going to hit a dry spell here soon because I've just been scoring big time. <sighs> that said... Me and the guys in the band I play with, Condors in the System, have also been putting out uh, some videos on the channel, uh, recording vlogs for our new record, Nothing Matters, Everything Matters. Um, I think we're up to four videos now. I'm about to put the fifth one out soon. And uh, those have been pretty fun. So if you haven't seen those, check them out. And... Uh, all our music is available on all streaming services and on Bandcamp. It's also here on YouTube. So if you want to hear it, uh, you can go check that out. Other than that, I've just been sitting around playing guitar. This 1965 Gibson 335. Uh, the gentleman who bought this guitar brand new, his name is Stephen Munch. He died on Wednesday. And uh, it was really interesting because I went to, I didn't know Steven, but I went to his um, obit and they had like, you know, how they have it online these days. There was a memorial page and there were some cool photos of him back in the day uh, opening for the Bee Gees and the Osmonds and stuff with this guitar. And uh, I'm trying to... Um, you know, honor him in a way by by uh, playing this thing all the time and and making sure that it's it's found a good home. So, you know, Godspeed and rest in peace to Stephen Munch because uh, he uh, he picked a good one when he found that really cool guitar. Anyway, <laughs> please like subscribe. Tell a friend, leave some comments down below. I got some more records um, coming. Like I said, I've been on this grill extravaganza lately, and uh, I hope it doesn't stop. Uh, but until we meet again, yeah, that's right. Bob out. We'd like to do uh, another original song right now, and uh, it's a song that will also be. Uh featured on our album. This is a song that's called Spin My Life Being With You.